Hey, I'm doing a little video chat. Remember to look at the camera, not at myself. I'll try to remember that. But uh, I turned 40 on Friday and today is Monday. So I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm more just excited, ready to party in Austin with my besties. <laughs> But uh, I wanted to do a little video chat and uh, kind of share just a little bit of my heart, a little video blog, I guess. And so today my devotion was, and this is my favorite devotional book, it's because it's Jane Austen and the Bible, two of my favorite things, Jesus, Jane Austen, uh, she died a single person. Hopefully that's not my tragedy, but maybe so. Anyways, my verse today was 1 John 4, 7 through 8. And it says, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is from God, and whoever's love has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. 1 John 4, 7 and 8. That was a little song I used to sing when I was little. Beloved, let us love for one another. Love one another. It's okay. Singing's not my best. You know that. Anyways, I um, got to be blessed last night at my church. They prayed for me, and it was really sweet. Um, but before that, I was doing child care because I had workers out. And I'm a children's minister, and... Yesterday, I had two big events going on and was kind of running around like a crazy person. And um, I really had these two different aspects of unconditional love. And I started thinking about that for me and myself as a Christian and as a single person, as a girl who's very much loved by her family and cared for by her mom and dad. and brothers and sister-in-laws and friends but I have had these two situations of unconditional love and I think in our world today we have a lot of boundaries we want to put which is good boundaries are very good I'm a very big person of boundaries but uh, I had just this day of yesterday of give 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 which I'm a giver and that's in my personality and my job and what I do but yesterday, I just realized about the unconditional love of giving. And I love doing children's ministry. But there are times when we all know sometimes we have to do the hard stuff, like change diapers. And I was with these babies, and I love babies. But I just kind of realized that they don't always love you back, that they're just kind of takers because it's their age and their babies. and. I'm not even a mom, but I know they take a lot of work, and um, it just kind of hit me of the unconditional love that you have to have, um, even as a child care worker who's not their mom, uh, this love that you have for these little babies who just take, take, and take, and so it, sometimes I love doing children's ministry because with my kiddos, my big kids, they give you hugs and they love and you can see in their eyes like, oh, they get it. But these babies, it was just simply me taking care of them and loving on them and not, not necessarily getting that love in return. And so that was kind of a thing yesterday. And then there was also this other situation and um, that kind of hit home and this devotional this morning about loving unconditionally and praying for someone and when you love people and pray for them even if it's not in your best interest of maybe them to be kind back or to love you back that's truly unconditional love uh, we definitely want to have conditions on our love today and it just kind of hit me yesterday how much the Lord loves me unconditionally and how hard that is for me to do and give back. I'm working on it. I'm trying hard. But I wanted to do these little video vlogs for the next four days leading up to my birthday. So if you can't celebrate my birthday, maybe you listen to this video and you're celebrating with me. Anyways, um, uh, I'm not going to go more than five minutes. 
So I hope you enjoyed this little little video blog devotion, little moments with Randy. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. T tomorrow, maybe. We'll see how this goes.